Ladies and gentlemen, from the famous Acme Comedy Theater in Hollywood, it's Acme Saturday Night. Starring Kurt Dietrich, Lee Gatford, Kimberly Huff. Bill Kessler, Jen Parker, Kevin Small. Brian Spillane, Eric Stitt, Jake West, and Pauline Yasuda. Musical guest, The Moon Upstairs. And your host, Wendy McClendon Covey. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Wendy McClendon Covey. Really? A gun. Yes, a gun. 
It was one of those fake guns that said bang, and the flag comes out, but no one knew that then. It looked like a real gun at first. But then it was too late. It was too late. It's not what happened. Somebody got shot. There were casualties on both sides. Three dead people, which meant 28 dead sketch characters. <laughs> <laughs> and ever since then, ever since that day, the groundlings in Acme called it truce. No more blood was going to be shed because at the end of the day, they both realized that we had a common goal. What, <laughs> oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? Goal? I'll tell you what that goal was. <laughs> that goal was to make the people of greater Los Angeles and to a lesser extent, the Inland, Inland Empire and Orange County, <laughs> laugh. Laugh. We want to make people laugh. That's what it is. Oh. You know what? I, I guess we can, we can try. Oh. We're sorry. What do you say, guys? <laughs> okay. Truce? Truce. Truce. Okay. Yes, yes and! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so relieved. Well, you guys, the mood upstairs is here. We've got a great show. So please stick around. You're watching Fort Worth Public Access. It ain't redneck unless we say it is. And now it's time for the Redneck Hollywood Review with your hosts, Earl and Kenny Westbrook. Dumb as hell. I don't, I don't care for that. I don't like it. 
How can you tell from just a poster? Well, well, I mean, am I being too hard? No, you're not. But I can tell you why it's dumb as hell because I already seen that movie in 1981 with Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you did. Now, really, right. that's a good point because just change the name, people. Right. Why don't you call it Thanksgiving? What's called Thanksgiving? <laughs> called Thanksgiving. Wait a minute. Right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You want to have a horror movie based around Thanksgiving? Oh my God, that's what it is every every Thanksgiving <laughs> in our house with your kid. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, I got some, I I got some weird kids. Am I wrong? I got some weird kids. <laughs> that's, my, that's my sister and brother-in-law. Uh, they got what we call summer teeth. Summer teeth, some eight. Um, <laughs> like a little upside-down cemetery in there. That's right. Where all the tombstones is crumbling. My family? My family? Creepy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> got stand for it. Mm -hmm. All right, you know soap is a luxury with my kin. Um, next up, we're going to review the uh, the poster uh, for uh, uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Yes. <laughs> that's funny as hell. <laughs> it's raining meatballs, people. See, no, that, I don't think that's funny as hell. I think that's stupid as hell. I don't think that would ever happen. It's not going to rain meatballs. All right. Well. It's not going to happen. It's now, but if, you, if it rained biscuits and gravy, you got my money. Oh. <laughs> That's that. right, but I'm on your team, but it's got to be cream gravy, none of that brown crap. Oh, okay. All right, that ain't gravy, that's dirt. That's dirt. You know what, that, that reminds me of the sinkhole that we have outside our mobile unit. Yeah, that's our septic. Is, our, it's, 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 there's a, a sinkhole, and it's brown, and it it's like that gravy. That Let's cheese, take a look at what's gravy. on our daughter's iPod mm. here. Good Lord, look at the buttons on this thing. <laughs> Are my, I, are my ears bleeding? I don't see how are they are. Are my ears bleeding? I don't see how they are. Are they bleeding? Because I feel like I just had a shard of glass stuck into my ear. I'm sorry, Sherry. Well, because that was horrific. I don't know what that was. Stop. Turn, it turn, it turn, 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 turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. That's called. That's uh, called. Uh, that's called. That's called. By Lady Gaga. <laughs> I don't like what? that. I think not vegetarian. No. We, I think her name should be Lady Crap Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I made that up right now. <laughs> Lady Crap Crap. That's retarded. I love it when you act like Bill Cosby. Right? I love it. I got, you are so damn funny. Uh, I like to watch you on every day. Every day. I'm so glad I married this, this man. I'm, I'm so glad I married this man. Right. Because he is hilarious. You know what, Sugar? I, I think I got two more minutes in me. It is my birthday month. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have. <laughs> that's right. Uh, why don't you come back and see us yeah, next Yeah, we're going to do it. This has been Fort Worth Public Access. Think these walls can hold me? I'm sorry. I said you ain't keeping me here, Kappa. Okay, I'm not a cop. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. He gets a little dramatic sometimes. Dad, you're not going to break out of here, okay? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, Dad, I'm going to show you the brochure. Okay, yeah. Sayonara, suckers! Okay, you can feel free to keep this. Mm -hmm. right. Adios, muchachos! If you look on the inside, you'll see that our front desk is open 24 7. Beep, beep, Roadrunner! So, you know, if you have any questions... Usain Bolt! <laughs> Great. Prepare for warp speed! How about, um, any activities? Boom, what was that? Sound barrier! Yeah, uh, bingo, poker night... Accelerating to Mach 1! Oh, and if you look over there, we're building a new badminton court. Once this baby hits 88, it's back to the future! Um, do you have any field trips or anything like that? Can't catch what you can't see! Of course, um, you know, once a week we go on to tours, White lightning! That's Fly great. like a butterfly, sting like a bee! Yeah, he's going to be very happy here, I'm sure. sure. I'm That's sure. the way that you do it! No time flat. Come on, Rocky. Ta -da -da. Ta -da. 
together for the Fit Monster. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hello, kids. I am the Fit Monster, AKA Frank Tippett. And I know that you kids are here today to take control of your life and get in shape. Right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm here to tell you, you kids think that life is all fun and games, right? Well, it's not. Okay, I'll tell you what. It is about, you know, you're gonna go out there and you're gonna get another man's blood on your hands. You're gonna have another man's blood on your hands. And you don't want that, kids. That is not for you. I know they're middle schoolers. I know that. Okay. All right, now, I know you kind of kids, okay? Your lives are spiraling out of control, okay? And you've got one choice, life or death. And what are you gonna choose, huh? Death and despair? Yeah, okay, okay, you paid for results, all right? Okay, okay. all right. All right, let me give it to you in the nitty gritty, okay? What are you kids gonna do when death comes knocking at your door? Rat tap tap with a sight. What, what now, what now? You're making them cry. No, you are, okay? I'm trying to get my rhythm going here and finish my community oh, yeah. service and you keep fucking with my shit. Oh, really? Oh, that's yes. It. That's it, you're out of here. I want you out of here. Oh, come on, man, don't be a dick. Oh, that security. Hey, you know what, I'm not going back, man. okay? Okay, right. they're not gonna take me alive. Right. No, you're not! Not today! No, 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 no! Not today! I'm not going back! Forget it! No! Um, stay in school and, uh, hugs, not drugs. <laughs> I'm not home. 
Tina. I'm not home right now. I said, okay, I'll come back later. So then I went to the other neighbors. But then she was, um, and then I went to the other one with the, she doesn't have a pool either, Mrs. Maloney, and I said, Mrs. Maloney, your cat's out here and I'm allergic. So. <laughs> you, sure have, you sure have a lot of neighbors. Mm. Seven neighbors. That's seven neighbors. Wow. That smells good. That, that looks really good. It's, it's just vegetarian. It's got cheese, tomato, avocado, sprouts. Never seen anything like that. That looks good to me. <laughs> that smells delicious. What did you bring for lunch? Ketchup. But I have a lot of it. I brought a lot of ketchup. That's all you brought was just ketchup? Yes, but I brought all the ketchup in my house because um, did you know that ketchup counts as a vegetable in many elementary schools? Did you know that? I did not know that. It does. And so I brought a lot of it and I like to be healthy. And your mom is okay with that? Oh, my mom's in Las Vegas right now. She's with my, she's with uh, Hank. She's with her boyfriend, and they're probably kissing laying down, because they do a lot of that. <laughs> but I can't go to Vegas, because I cannot ride my bike there. There's a lot of hookers, and there's um, neon, which makes me dizzy. And I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to neon. I've never known anybody that was allergic to neon. Where are you staying? My name is Tina, and I'm allergic to neon. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, right now I'm sitting with Mrs. Calloway, and she's one of my other neighbors, and she doesn't have a pool or any cats or anything, but she has a hamster that uh, is a pretty good kisser. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like half my sandwich? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. to the Acme News. I'm Leif Gantfurt. Our top story, a recent poll ranked Los Angeles as the nation's second most stressful city to live in. Second. See, Mom, LA's not so bad. In political news, earlier this week, President Obama spent 20 minutes brainwashing America's children. The schools that chose to broadcast the speech reported a dramatic increase in lunchroom consumption of Kool-Aid. In entertainment news, Hugh Hefner got divorced this week, and in my personal opinion, this is pretty sad, because if Hugh Hefner can't stay married, who can? Yeah, it's sad. In international news, a new anti-AIDS commercial in Germany that depicts Adolf Hitler having sex with a woman has brought disgust from many Germans due to its unbelievability, because as most historians will tell you, Hitler was gay. <laughs> Nicole Ritchie gave birth to a 7-pound, 14-ounce baby boy on Thursday, marking the first time in history after the birth the baby outweighed the mother. The video game The Beatles Rock Band launched this week. The game comes equipped with all the instruments, allowing everyone the chance to role play as their favorite Beatle. The launch was closely followed by a high number of eBay sales for unused Beatles drum sets. Nobody wants to be Ringo, come on. Actor Russell Crowe challenged a reporter to a bike duel after she mocked him for smoking during a bike ride. Doctors say the reporter is now recovering from thrown bike-related injuries. 
And now for a brand new news segment we call What a Rush. Following the president's address to the students, students earlier this week, or students, yeah, depending on you know what part of the nation you come from. Uh, this week, radio talk show host Rush Limbaugh had this to say. This is all about the president trying to get as much power over every aspect of every individual's life as possible. That's who the guy is. It's a trick. It's a scam. It's a joke. What a rush! A joke, Rush? Really? Who's laughing? Because, see, that's what a joke is, you know. It's a cleverly phrased group of words that are closely followed by a set-up punchline with the desired result of laughter. For example, why did the chicken cross the road? Because Rush Limbaugh's a dumbass. See, a that's rat, a joke. Bro. Yeah, now, actually, I hate picking on Rush. He's such an easy target. But when he says things like, I'm really, really struck by how insincere the whole thing is. The president gives a speech of personal responsibility to a bunch of kids that he doesn't believe. Insincere? Who's the guy that for years bashed drug use and then entered rehab, Rush? A little bit of the pot calling the president black, isn't it? <laughs> what a rock! Rush went on to say, you know, I'll be damned if I'm going to let some socialist radical have it my kids when they'd otherwise be eating lunch or skipping school. All right, for argument's sake, let's just say President Obama was pushing some socialist agenda on all our kids. To what terrible end, all right? Maybe kids would go home and actually have a real issue to talk about with their parents. Maybe the kids would care about the direction of the country. Or maybe you're afraid that after the speech, a family might be sitting around the dinner table when they hear a sound and notice that little Johnny is sitting there with a gun, offering the whole family free universal health care. This has been the Acme News. I'm Leif Ganford, and you should be so lucky. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the moon upstairs. Everything, everything you've read and heard Can now go in the fire and burn our history A mystery, a fabricated tale Of power, lost struggles that fail Not everything, not everything Shows itself in plain view Not everything, not everything is exactly as it's told to you Emergency procedures in the commerce of our product life They're all for sale Hurt the heart that fighting all It's all, it's all half cost Revolution package trapped in a gift box All the things that were hoax spun and handmade were once sacred, now sold in vain. Profit margins, even grassroots concepts turn into corporate monsters that swallow you. Not everything, not everything will forever satisfy you. Not all the riches in the world will ever untie you from The shackles of the consuming mind that take and take till it takes no mind They're all for sale Your religion, freedom, soul and hell It's all, it's all half cost Revolution package wrapped in a gift box
And now, with our Acme News weather report, is our own Eric Stitt. Thank you, Leaf. And as you can see, it is a very nice night tonight in the Acme Comedy Theater. Temperatures around 73 degrees, with a high of 74, a low of 72. I'm sorry, Eric, hold on a second. Um, are you reporting on the weather actually inside the theater? That is right. The wind right now is around three miles per hour, coming out of the southeast. More specifically, from that man in the second to last row who had a spaghetti bolognese from a Malfi next door. <laughs> Eric, are you, are you saying? Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. Are you suggesting that that man is farting? Hey, call it like I see it. There's also some high pressure building in the southeast from this section of the audience. I believe it's the uh, second row. There's some people sitting there with their arms crossed. Their faces are very stoic. We could find that pressure wafting westward over the stage back towards the green room, making our performers shiver boom, with anxiety. Ah. <laughs> Eric, do you have any actual weather that you plan to address in any way? Oh, well, yeah. We're not expecting any sort of rain or lightning in our forecast as we are indoors, but we are expecting a heavy downpour of belly laughs and a heavy deluge of guffaws. <laughs> and lastly, not, but not leastly, we are ex uh, expecting air quality warning as some of us leave. <laughs> Need a breath mint or a piece of gum before the show lets out. Okay, that's it for the weather. Back to you, Weef. Yeah. Eric Stitt with a weather report. For the Acme News, I'm Leif Ganford. And now we open up the Acme Comedy Vault to take a look back at historical footage of the Acme vaudeville years. This sketch was written during the Dust Bowl of 1935. Hello, hello, hello! Hello, ladies and gents! Hi, I'm Lou! And I'm Dippy! And together we're the Dipsy Duo! Oh, you know Stephen Dancer! Chickens are laying hard-boiled eggs! Oh, oh, I like 
good for you. You will not for your own. How hot it is in the dust bowl right now! How hot is it? It is so hot! I saw a squirrel fanning his nuts! news update. Here to report on the World Series of Poker is our own leisure and lifestyle correspondent, Rudy Bennett. Hello, everybody! And a special hello to you, Leif Gant for Hoots. Yeah, my name uh, is pronounced Gant Vort. Oh, I like forts. I'd like to ram your gate. <laughs> you got a moat? Yeah, um, why don't we just get to your story? Right? Sure, you, you're just a little sassy pants, I like that. Uh -huh. This year's World Series of Poker is airing on ESPN. I've never seen that channel. With 6,494 entries. And first prize is $8.6 million That's to play cards. Yeah, how about that? How about that? Hmm. What I've decided to do in this segment is to focus on the players and their unusual nicknames. Okay. Do you have a nickname, Leaf Gant for Hootson? Yes. Uh, my nickname is Leaf. I very much am into women Gant for it. Mmm. Hard to get. I like that. I think my nickname is going to be uh, Rudy. I'll wear you down and then I'll just wear you, Bennett. <laughs> How about the World Series of Poker? All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Yes, I'll, I'll slap it. Okay. So, our first poker player is a three-time champion. His name is Paul the Eskimo Clark. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at him. In my neighborhood, he'd be referred to as a bear. <laughs> Maybe a polar bear because of the Eskimo thing. Uh huh. 
If I didn't shave my back, I could be your bear. Okay. <laughs> I'm clean. Next up is Action Dan Harrington. Action Dan. Oh, good God. Look at him. I bet he hasn't seen any action since Sucky Sucky in Saigon. That's in Vietnam, Lee. Yeah, I, I'm very familiar with We had a war there. Oh, uh, yes, we did. Next up is Hoyt Cowboy Corkins. That's a name, isn't it? Uh -huh. Oh, look at him. Forget the saddle. I'll ride him bareback. <laughs> I don't care. I'll cork him. <laughs> That's uh, in a play on his name, Leif Ganfer Hootens. Yes, it is. <laughs> now we've got a three time champ, Mike the Mouth Matisau. Oh, God. What a name. Oh, God. With a face like that, he better be good with a mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I put a bag on his head. And my favorite poker nickname belongs to Michael the Grinder Mizraki. Ooh, I like that. How about that, Leap? You want to do some grinding? Not, not particular. I'm good at right. it. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Uh, thank you very much, Rudy Bennett, everyone. I'm, <laughs> I'm Leap Gamper, and that's it for this Acme News break. You, your leg's growing. Hello, I'm Candy Summers, and welcome to the Book Report. Our guest today is Dr. Howard Dorn. He's written a lovely book called Learning, Loving, Living, A Guide to a Great Life. Hello, Dr. Dorn, and welcome. Thank you. So in your book, you say that a happy life can be broken down into three simple building blocks. Why don't you break it down for us and tell us what those are? Well, my research shows that the most important building block, first and foremost, to a happy life is actually diet and fitness. Oh, really? I see. <laughs> oh, did you set me up, Casey? Huh? You happy? Trying to send me a message here? Casey? Yeah, message received. I'm fat. I get it. What? <laughs> no, that's... Huh? No, that's, that's not... I don't know, Casey, there's no... Message here? Because Casey does think I'm fat. Look at him thinking it down. He thinks I'm fat. Uh, I've tried, Casey. By God, I've tried not to be fat. Okay, I never said that. Okay. You, you never not said it. You never didn't not say it. <laughs> uh, well, if it matters anything, I mean, look, look at you. You're, you're far from fat. You're actually very, very attractive. You have nothing to worry about. You think so? Oh, you yes. You don't have to say that. No, I mean it. You don't have to say that, but I'll take it since you're saying it. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I'm, I'm very stupid. Okay, I, you hit a nerve, and now I'm ready to go on. So, okay. I, I, Great. it's my stuff. Mm. Go on. Great. So tell us more about that, that uh, step. Okay, good. About uh, our building blocks. Okay, moving. Yes. Moving on to the next Let's building block. The, but most, my research showed that most happy people uh, the next most important thing is not what people think, it's not financial or money, it's actually building long-term, solid, strong relationships. <laughs> Something I don't have because I'm so fat. Uh, is that what you're getting at? Because no. you know I don't have that. Vacancy, there's a vacancy here because I'm so fat. Really? Thanks, Casey. Thanks, Casey. Uh, Once again, thanks, Casey. I'm not sure why you keep yelling at him. Because he walked in on me on the, in the bathroom. He walked in on me in the bathroom once. All right. And this, let me show you something. I don't want to. <laughs> Please no. When you squeeze that, okay. <laughs> when a lady's on the toilet, and, and this okay. goes down, <laughs> dimples come out. Okay. And he saw that. Okay. And he said, oh, I'm sorry. He was laughing at my fat. I was not laughing. He thinks that only men only want to sleep with me out of a, a pity fuck for the fat girl. Never. <laughs> you never said it, but you never not said it. Okay. okay. Uh, Would you fall in love with me? Um. I don't know. There you go, Casey. He wouldn't fall in love with me. Thank you, because I'm fat. Because of this, I get it. I get it. Actually, no, I wouldn't fall in love with you because I'm married. Really? That's it, yeah. 
How fat is your wife? Uh, <laughs> is your wife fat? No. Of course not. That's why you married her. But is she pear shaped? <laughs> is she okay if she's if you're having dinner and you're getting this view? Hello. But then down here, it's a disaster. <laughs> I'm that way sometimes. She's not a bloated fat mess like me. Is that what you're saying? I have problems. My viewers know. They've seen me go back and forth and back and forth and up and down. And look at that. That's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Someone walked in on you oh. in your most vulnerable moment, going number two, and oh. they saw this. <laughs> How could you not tweet about that? Let's just let's just talk. I'm sick of your judgment. I'm so why don't we just get back to the book? I'm not. I'm not here to judge you. No, you've got a book that will judge me just fine. <laughs> and that's why you brought him here. Uh, there's no judgment here. You know, really, right. honestly, it's just, it's just a book full of really friendly, nice, positive advice from thousands of happy people that I have interviewed. OK. Who wasn't one of those people? I wasn't because I'm not happy. Oh, because God. I'm fat. Oh God! I'm fat. All right. I get it. I'm not saying. Stop that. badgering me. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> I get it. I'm fat. You fuck. Delay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm a fat girl. Just let me say fuck on television. I've got.
A jumping over the fence, a smoking dope, and laughing all the way. I'll buy the oil factories I'll buy the black and seas that bleed They bleed brown, they bleed brown On the suburban regalia they have nothing to say Rebellious rebel brother, brother, I'll be nothing can stand in their way I'll buy the oil factories I'll buy the black skin seas that bleed They bleed brown, they bleed brown Any days, every day when you afraid your love that way Looking for, looking for you Every day is any day when you feel the life at play Looking from, looking you So burning worries, stand up, stand up and stand tomorrow Over suburban jungles and armies, a small town strip mall I'll buy the gravel road by the trail of park down the street and leave town, leave town. Both of you. 
Oh, thank God, for a moment there, I thought I had the killer's kiss on my lips. <laughs> Scandalous sex and murder. This is fun. No, it's not. Which leaves us only... Me, the killer! The butler! What? Me, sir? No, sir. Why not? You had access to his glass. You could have surely poisoned him. Or, st- or stabbed him. He had access to the silver closet. Oh, 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 shot him with this gun! Which I have! You all heard a gunshot! <laughs> yes, but what of the motive? What motive did the killer have? Because the deceased murdered my wife and got off by a blundering mistake by a dope of a policeman like you. I'm starting to suspect the butler. As am I. Confess <laughs> you. <laughs> well, it seems painfully obvious. The butler didn't do it. Too. Oh, another corpse. Murder, murder most foul. No one move. Lock the door. It's already locked. All right. <laughs> Look, it looks like the murderer may have had an accomplice. Oh, for pity's sake! <laughs> In a moment's time, seal it up, drink it like wine. Everything we know is what we know, what we know. To rewrite the laws of word and come, make them apply to everyone. Everything we know is what we know, what we know. To change our minds from what we know, the what will be, the what to come. Everything we know is what we know, what we know. Capture the new frontier It's the symphony 
see that always It's the sympathy that always It's the sympathy that always Allows you to never erase It's the sympathy that always 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 These words It means everything All that you run away And you do Man's garage. What the hell? You deserved that. 
You deserve that. Deserve that, Kevin. You've got marijuana growing in your garage. I know it. You can tell. <laughs> you can smell it from here. I can smell it. Also, did you know that you can buy water in plastic bottles from when you are not at home? That's true. That's a sign. Did you know about? that? Can I leave early, please? No. Why? We're talking about water. Now, Mrs. Johnberger, what would you say is the most important part of your position at the Department of Water and Power? Well, I would say that it is certainly about keeping water clean for school children. Mm -hmm. But I would also say that it's uh, to make money to keep you in the lifestyle to which you have grown accustomed. Mm -hmm. Malady. Oh, my lady. <laughs> oh, I am out of here. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go too. The, the bell has not yet rang. Don't forget to collect a water bottle. Sure, papers are your Tuesday. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about that. Sometimes they Disappointing. leave early. They leave early sometimes. Well, I was just about to talk about the more inventive uses of water, like wet t shirt contests and sensual showers. Sure. But, you know, we'll get it next time. We'll get it next time. You know we will. Would you like a nice cold glass of water? I would love one. That's not the only thing I'd love. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>